Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I am going to be teaching you guys how to use the copy and add keywords to move files from your local operating system your normal working environment into your image in that way the purpose of this and it's typically by the way source code that you're moving over but anyways the point of this is that whenever anyone else builds your container not only do they have all those services like Postgres and Redis but they have the actual source code as well, like your HTML files, your images, so on and so forth, the total package. So just as a quick uh, little prerequisite, I created this temp2 directory, and that's where I'm at right now in my command line. And we have a couple assets in here. We have this directory called corn, which I already packed up into this tar file. And then we have a directory called HTML files, which has one apples.html file in it, and then a sample text file. Nothing about these are like special. I just wanted to have three different types of assets because the way that we move them over, it's it's a little bit different. So again, it doesn't matter what they're named or you know what's actually in these text files. Just want to have these different ones to kind of demonstrate some different concepts. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Of course, since you know what we're trying to do is create an image from a Docker file, first thing we need is an actual Docker file. So I'm gonna go nano and create a Docker file. Now the very first thing that we're gonna need is a base image. And we'll just go with Alpine since it's the most lightweight. It really doesn't matter for this tutorial, but we'll stick with Alpine. Now the keyword that we're gonna be discussing first is the copy keyword. Now what the copy keyword is gonna do is it's gonna instruct Docker to copy files or directories from the source. I'll just uh, make a little temp there from the source location. And this is the location on your local operating system, your actual computer. And it's gonna be copying them over to the destination. Now the destination is the file system of the container or in other words, the image that's gonna become a container that we're gonna be creating. Now, the very first command I'm gonna be showing you guys is actually not going to be part of our final product because it's gonna kind of ruin the rest of my tutorial if I include this, but I wanna show it to you guys anyways because you're gonna see this a lot. And that is people typically, or I don't wanna say typically, a common thing is to copy all of the content from the current directory over to a target folder. So you might see something like this. And what this means is take everything inside temp2, where we're at right now, and copy it over into an app directory in the image. Now again, I don't wanna do that because I wanna show you some tricky things of copying files one by one. So the first thing we actually are gonna be doing is taking this HTML files directory and moving this into an app slash HTML. So you guys can probably guess how you would do this copy again current directory forward slash html files and then i'm going to be copying it over to app slash html so again it's going to take all the content from here and copy it over to a new folder app slash html and that's where it's going to land up in our final image now if you ever want to copy over a single file then what you can do is well i'll show you guys it's Pretty self-explanatory, but walk you through it anyways. So copy sample.txt over to app slash sample.txt. So again, what it's gonna do is take this file and just move it to a new folder in our images file system. And that location is app sample.txt, plain and simple. So copy, copy, take files from here, move them over there. Okay, I got it. So what's the point of this add keyword we were talking about? So add is actually very similar to copy, but it allows us to unpack tar files as well as use a URL as the source. So <laughs> it's kind of like copy for, um, in special cases, you can think of it like that, a special use case of copy, if you will. So that is why, in case you guys were wondering why I have this tar file, because we need the add keyword for that. So what I'm gonna do is include add corn.tar and we can just move that into our app directory as our target. And last but not least, and I actually have this copied. Actually, let me pull it up on a browser, show you guys what's going on. 
All right, so I'm just gonna move this SVG and this is just the logo of the new Boston. Bump it up so you guys can see. And I just wanna, what is this? Get out of here thing. I just wanna show you guys this because I wanna demonstrate the idea of taking a file from a URL and including it in your image as well. So what we're gonna do in that case is just add and then, all right, so you guys can't see it, but all of the, uh, the entire URL is there. My screen is just a little bit uh, squished together so I can show it on my tutorial. But we're gonna take that URL, that SVG file, and copy it over to app, images, and I actually wanna rename this one, since I don't like that big long name, of logo.svg. All right, so it looks like we have everything ported over and looks good to go. So I'm just gonna save that. And just to show you guys the final product of, all right. So we have from Alpine, we're gonna copy over HTML files, this one file, and then again, what this is gonna do right here is not only just copy this file directly, but since we have the add keyword, it's gonna unpack that. And then of course, this is just showing that we can grab files from the internet as well. So let's clear out in Docker build period. So Docker build period and all right, looking good. Now I'm just gonna get that ID for Docker image LS and it should be this top one. And all right, so let's run this container and uh, see if it worked. So Docker run. And we actually want to shell in so we can, you know, poke around, navigate around and make sure that everything worked correctly. And that was the ID of the image. And then I'm just gonna run shell is my default command. And let's run ls la and see what we got. All right, so looks like we got that app folder, which is good. So let's navigate into that. And if we run ls la here, all right. So first thing, it looks like we did indeed copy over that sample.txt file correctly. And now what I wanna do is just navigate into corn. And all right, looks like we got corn one and corn two. And if you see this, this tar file was just this uh, directory packed into a tar file. And indeed it did have corn one and corn two in it. And what else do we got over here? So let me navigate out of here. All right, we have uh, HTML and let's navigate there. All right, so in HTML, we do have apples.html indeed. And last but not least, let's look in images. So CD images, and yes, we have that logo SVG. So all right, that, and I'll pull this up so you guys have something to look at while I'm doing my little outro here, but that is the difference between copy and add. Again, both keywords allow you to take files and folders from your local operating system and copy those over into your image that you can deploy whenever people run the container, they can see all those, very useful. But yeah, um, nothing else to say really. So uh, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.